Hello everyone, this is Vikas Kumar. Welcome to Marine Tuta Marine Engineering Lectures. This is my third lectures on freshwater generator. In last two lectures, I have already discussed about the working principle of freshwater generator, applications of freshwater generator and how to vacuum is created inside the freshwater generator and its principle and you have also go through about the some malfunctioning machinery questions like what could be the causes of loss of vacuum in freshwater generator why high salinity in freshwater generator and what are the causes for scale formation in freshwater generator so all these things i have already discussed so our third lecture is based on what are the standard starting and stopping procedures for freshwater generator so let's discuss our lectures so in last two lectures, I have already discussed about the working principle of freshwater generator and what are the troubleshooting or malfunctioning machinery regarding the freshwater generator through this diagram only. That's why I am taking this diagram as a reference. So our today's question is, through step by step, we are going to see the starting and stopping procedure for the freshwater generator. So let's discuss our lecture. First of all, you may see here, there is a sea water line, sea water line which is directly fit to the condenser. So, in sea water line, you may see here, there is a one sea water pump suction valve, there is a discharge valve and here, there is a overboard valve. So, make sure sea water pump suction, discharge and overboard valves are open, then start the sea water pump. So, how to start the seawater pump? So, in freshwater generator, there is an operating panel. So, go to the operating panel and switch the, there is a main switch board and switch the main switch board. Then, from it turns to or it's moved through 0 to 1 and then it means seawater pump is started. So, start the seawater pump. So, the question arises here is, we, we open seawater suction suction valve that is required, discharge valve that is required to, uh, to go sea water to the condenser. But why we need to open this overboard valve? That is our question. Okay. So, let's assume for a time being, overboard valve remains closed. Okay. So, what happened? If overboard valve remains closed and we start the fresh water generator, means what? Fresh water generator is in operating condition. So, it's in operating condition means in evaporator, there is a heat transfer takes place between jacket cooling water and sea water and hence sea water vaporizes or evaporates and if sea water evaporates, then it's left out with some brine and that brine is collected at the bottom of the evaporator and there is an arrangement called or there is a one arrangement uh, here that is brine ejector. So, with the help of brine ejector, that brine is overboard through overboard valve. So, but here I am assuming overboard valve is closed but fresh, but fresh water generator is in operating condition. So, what happened? For, uh, it is not possible to overboard, overboard this brine through overboard valve. So, brine level increases. Okay. Or we can say in evaporator, brine is flooded or it reached to the demister and demister which is made up of fine molten metal mesh fine molten metal mesh which gets torn out and further brine level is going increase and increase and further it reached to the condenser okay or it flooded to the flooded inside the condenser in condenser there is a collecting chamber collecting condensed chamber in which fresh water is collected and then fresh water is deteriorated with all this brine and uh, fresh water suction there is a fresh water suction line which suck out through distillate pump and distillate pump is not made for handle all these brine. So there is just some possible major causes takes place if brine level is increased or reached up to the condenser. And all the three major problems are so first of all the mechanical damage takes place in the pump. Okay. And second is bilge will be full. And third is there is just some hydraulic pressure is much more active on the evaporator plates. So because of all these things we need to open the overboard valves at the starting during starting procedures okay so now now uh, this is our first uh, this is our first step now start the ejector pump okay start the ejector pump and wait for vacuum 
ओके वेट फॉर वैक्यूम टू बिल्ड अप इनसाइड फ्रेश वाटर जनरेटर सर एंड वैक्यूम इज व्हेन वैक्यूम इज रेट अबाउट 92 टू 95 परसेंट वैक्यूम टिल वी हैव टू वेट ओके नाउ इफ वैक्यूम इज रीच्ड अप टू 92 टू 95 परसेंट नाउ ओपन द फीड वाटर वाल टू फीड सी वाटर टू द इवैपोरेटर सो दिस इज आवर फीड वाटर वाल फ्रॉम हियर ओनली ओके सो ओपन द फीड वाटर वाल टू फीड सी वाटर टू द इवैपोरेटर एंड एडजस्ट द फीड वाटर प्रेशर्स ओके so normally marking is provided on the pressure gauge for desired feed water pressure okay so now we achieved uh, sea water inside the evaporator okay and we also created vacuum inside the evaporator so we need some extra thing that is heating media so open main engine jacket cooling water inlet and outlet to the evaporator gradually mark my word i say gradually okay so uh, open this valve and this one okay these two valves open for heating purpose okay now our next step is in operating panel there is a salinity alarm or there is a set alarm for salinity so switch on the salinity alarm panel for measuring purity of the fresh water produced and these alarm are both visual and audible alarm okay now now there will be a side glass provided at the suction line for the distillate pump here there is some arrangement which is called side glass arrangement and there will be a side glass provided at the suction line for the distillate pump so make sure condensate water is coming to the suction line now start the distillate pump and open discharge valve to lead generated water to specified storage tanks okay through side glass only uh, we see now the fresh water generator is in running condition so do checks while running fresh water generator okay do regularly checks uh, such as fresh uh, evaporator pressure condenser pressure flow meter reading okay salinity content all these things we have to continuously check okay and also check for the brine level inside it should not be too high or too low if the brine level is too high which lead to which lead to high salinity which whatever the fresh water it produce which is high salinity fresh water and uh, it's also not too too low okay if the brine is too low it means the capacity is much below than rated capacity okay whatever we produce so it's all about starting procedure okay and uh, make sure cell vacuum is more than 90 percent from the vacuum gauge okay and check regularly sea water inlet and outlet temperature to the condenser Uh, generally the sea water inlet temperature uh, temperature is all about 28 degrees celsius and outlet temperature is all about 37 38 40 degrees celsius okay so and uh, ensure sea water pressure of air ejector inlet more than 3 bars okay and check for displaced pump pressure and water flow meter also we check and water flow meter uh, which is so in liter per minute okay and che check salinity of fresh water produced check level and flow of dosing chemicals and check ampere of ejector pump and distillate pump motor so this is all about the starting procedure of fresh water generator now come to the stopping procedure of for fresh water generator so before stopping procedure i would like to introduce one term that is jacket cooling water bypass valve so what is jacket cooling water bypass valve and what they do basically it regulate the plant capacity Here, plants refer to fresh water generator. Okay, so how it regulates the plant capacity? Whatever the amount of engine cooling water for the evaporator is adjusted by means of the bypass valve only till correct capacity is obtained. So in this way, it regulates the plant capacity. In simple word, we can say that the amount of opening of bypass valve is inversely proportional to production of fresh water through fresh water generator. so what does it means what the statement mean during operating condition of fresh water generator if fresh water generator is in operating mode so on so that time jacket cooling water bypass valve is in closed position so this is our closed fully closed or in closed position okay now now and at that time if the jacket cooling water bypass valve is fully closed okay at that time the production of fresh water through fresh water generator is more why more if the jack 
जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर वेपर्स वॉल इज फुल्ली क्लोज देन द जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर इज पास थ्रू इवापोरेटर मीन्स मोर जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर इज पास थ्रू इवापोरेटर मोर जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर पास थ्रू इवापोरेटर मीन्स मोर हिट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर एंड सी वाटर मोर हिट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर एंड सी वाटर मीन्स मोर इवापोरेशन टेक्स प्लेस मोर वेपर एंड मोर वेपर मीन्स मोर वेपर गोज टू द कंडेंसर एंड मोर लिक्विड इज कंडेन्स ओके सो दैट्स वाई दैट्स वाई आई से दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ ओपनिंग ऑफ बैपास वाल इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर थ्रू फ्रेश वाटर जनरेटर सपोज वे ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन बैपास वाल इज क्लोज ओके नाउ नाउ सपोज वी ओपन द बैपास वाल टू थर्टी परसेंट लेट्स थर्टी परसेंट इज ओपन मीन्स वाट द अमाउंट ऑफ जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर विच पास थ्रू थ्रू इवापोरेटर इज रिड्यूसेस रिड्यूसेस मीन्स लेस हीट एक्सचेंज टेक्स प्लेस बिटवीन सी वाटर एंड जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर लेस वेपर फॉर्म ओके लेस देन लेस कंडेंसेट लेस फ्रेश वाटर प्रोड्यूस सो इन दिस वे मीन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ ओपनिंग ऑफ बैपास वाल इफ बैपास वाल इज ओपन मोर एंड मोर इफ बैपास वाल ओपन मोर एंड मोर देन वाटर इट पास थ्रू दिस लाइन ओनली नॉट थ्रू दिस क्लोज लू ओके इफ द जैकेट कूलिंग वाटर बैपास वाल वाल ओपन मोर एंड मोर देन production of fresh water is less that's why i am saying amount of opening of bypass valve is inversely proportional to production of fresh water in fresh water generator okay so in simple word what we can say means if bypass valve is open or if bypass valve is 60% open 80% open 90% open means opening of bypass valve is increases it means production of fresh water decreases through fresh water generator so maximum production takes place when the bypass valve is closed okay and if the opening of bypass valve increases production decreases in this way uh, jacket cooling water bypass valve regulate the plant capacity now fresh water production is measured through flow meter this is our flow meter Which show the how many liter per minute fresh water production takes place. Suppose if I open the jacket cooling water bypass valve, then you observe that flow meter read less. Okay, suppose there is a thirty percent opening of jacket cooling water valve takes place, and corresponding to thirty percent opening, if the flow meter reads fifteen liter per minute. Now we increase the opening of bypass valve. From thirty percent to sixty percent, we open the bypass valve. Then you observe that the flow meter reading is means six liter or five liter per minute. So in this way, through flow meter, which show the how many liter per minute production takes place. So this is all about the flow meter and jacket cooling water bypass valve. Now come to the uh, come to our question is about stopping procedure of fresh water generator. So first of all, open the bypass valve for main engine cooling water slowly, slowly. Likewise, opening twenty percent, thirty, sixty, eighty, ninety, hundred. Like likewise. Okay. Second step is close the inlet and outlet valve for the engine cooling water for the evaporator. Okay, close both valve. Close valve for feed water treatment. Okay. Stop the distillate pump. After cooling the evaporator side, this is evaporator. After cooling the evaporator side, as below fifty degrees Celsius, close the feed water valve. Stop ejector pump. Close sea water valve before ejector pump and overboard valve after ejector pump. Okay, and then open vacuum breaker valve and close the valve of fresh water tank. In this way, we successfully achieve the starting and stopping procedure of fresh water generator. This is all about the starting and stopping procedure of fresh water generator. Do like and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video.